Hello and welcome to another shopping haul. So today I have been to Iceland and B&M because they're next door to each other and I just thought I'd show you some of the bits that I got. I've also done a big Audi shop but I'm going to put that in next week's video because I've got so much stuff and this video would be extra extra long otherwise and I just thought I'd cut it into two. So I'll take through Iceland and then B&M. So I got some of these cinnamon buns. They have already been opened. Um, I've got my teenager at home, he's doing his exams, so he's come down and had one of these. These were reduced to 90 pence, they were £1.50. So I've got two lots of those, he's eaten one. He's also taken a packet of these southern fried chicken sticks up for his lunch, um, and some grapes and some crisps and bits, but these were £1.20 instead of £2.40. I got some free range eggs, I did also get some eggs in Aldi. That noise is the dog drinking by the way, she's so thirsty. Um, yeah, I did get some eggs in Aldi, but I got these for £1.83. They were £3.65 and they're okay till the 1st of June. So that's quite a while yet. I wanted to stock up on some of the frozen bits. So I got a big bag of the broccoli. This was £2 for a kilo. I got a bag of baby corn, which is new. I've not seen it in there before. And we love baby corn, especially like if you throw it into instant noodles. I also got a big bag of their frozen sweet corn. I think this was £2 as well. And what I'm going to do with this is make like a charred corn. So I'm going to lay it on a tray, spray it with some oil, some garlic, some chilli. And I'm going to oven it until it goes a little bit charred, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to use that in some salads, like a Mexican style salad. I don't know if anyone else has thought like battered fish whoops has really gone up I got really expensive lately so I got these Young's gastro restaurant quality tempura battered fish fillets these were £4.50 for two and they had them on offer for £2 so I got three packs because obviously we need one piece each and there's five of us they also had a lemon and black pepper one but I didn't think that was too bad £2 for two pieces of fish so we got three of those I've got some of these nice seasoned ridge cut fries these are also new 1.2 kilos these were £2.75 I've got a giant pack of crispy dippers I think these were five or six pound for 1.6 kilos um, they just work out a really good price I look at all the like price per kilos when I'm looking around and these worked out really good 60 cod fish fingers these were also six pound i think which i think is a really good price they're just minced cod and they're great in sandwiches and wraps that's what we usually use them for so in the next few seconds or so of this video the audio has gone muffly again which means my new camera has to be sent back because it keeps doing it to me but i think what i was trying to say is these pakora strips were five pound fifty for a really big bag and we often have these with salads and then I bought some ice creams which I'd already put in the freezer because I didn't want them to melt. And these are the new Maltese, the white ones and the chocolate ones. And I think these were two packets for £4. And I think the audio is alright again now, so I have no idea what's happening with my camera. And then I've got these giant strawberries as well. They're like the, um, the jelly sweets you can get, but they're strawberry flavoured water ice lollies. They were a pound for four and I thought they looked quite cool. I also got some garlic baguettes, there's two for a pound in Iceland and I thought this was quite good. The Young's Popcorn Scampi Bites, this was three packets for four pound and I think one packet would be perfect with a few chips and maybe some peas or beans um, for like the boys for their one of their dinners this week if like we're having something else. I also got some more cans of drink, we have still got um, I think a crate two no a crate of I don't know we've still got a couple of crates outside basically and we've got some Rios that I got in farm foods but wanted to pick up some more while I'm there because I don't always go in and it's cheaper to get them while I'm in there rather than go back in and then I'll spend more money on other stuff I don't need so you get four crates for £30 which makes them £7.50 a crate so 24 cans for £7.50 I was going to get four Pepsi Max but I saw this Tango Paradise Pro I can't speak paradise punch sugar free tango editions um, and it's orange and mango I think like fizzy so I thought that sounded quite nice so I got four of those so that was everything I got in Iceland and I don't know why the skewers are hiding around there because they weren't Iceland so on to B&M I got just bits and pieces I needed really like random stuff 
I got some foaming toilet powder from Fabulosa. This was two pound or one pound eighty nine, I think, and you just pour it in your toilet and it fizzes up, and then you can give it a nice scrub and it smells nice. So we've got a hundred extra long bamboo skewers. These were three pounds seventy five. This was exactly what I was looking for because what I want to do, I've got a muscle food order coming tomorrow with all my chicken and some pork mince. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some meal prep. So I'm going to prep some tandoori chicken skewers, cook them and then freeze them because I just want to make life easier for ourselves. And sometimes when we have had a really busy day and we come home, we've ended up not eating a few times. Just me and Steve, the boys obviously have eaten, but we've ended up not actually eating any dinner. Um, and that's not very good, especially when you're trying to work out and train and things. So... I thought I could make some tandoori skewers and some different flavoured chicken skewers and then put them in like bags or in foil. I mean, I'm going to have to get massive bags, aren't I? Because they're huge. And, um, maybe I'll wrap them in foil, put them in a foil tray or something and wrap them. I'll work that one out anyway. But yeah, I thought that was a really good idea to just have them pre-prepared and then we can like get those out as and when we need them. I wanted some tubs as well, but they didn't look very good quality, like for meal prep. And I will be doing some videos on on meal prep meals the dog is tearing something up and i'm not really sure what it is um but yeah i'm going to be doing some meal prep videos at some point as well of the things i make and freeze to make life a bit easier and some nice healthy cost effective high protein meals so i've got some sliced jalapeno peppers these were i think one pound 25 some of the carpet fresh i got the pet one this time but just because it's thai orchid and passion fruit i really really like thai orchid like the smell of it i have a air freshener that smells like that it's really good so i got that you just spray it on your carpets obviously got some of these toilet blocks that you just put in your cistern and they make your water blue and they smell good and clean and stuff <laughs> the instant noodles i got the yum su ones the special chicken flavor and also the chicken curry flavor these are five packets for a pound and that is ridiculously cheap isn't it although i do remember when instant noodles used to be 9p but they're not now, but that's still cheap. I got some Velveeta biscuits. This big pack of 12 was 2 99 but you actually get four biscuits in each pack and 12 packs. So I thought that was quite a good price. And then these ones, you get five packets of three biscuits, but these were £1.25 and they're really nice with the chocolate on. I got a new bath mat because other than tearing up whatever it is she's tearing up out there, I think it's like a leaflet that's come through the door, she also tears up bath mats um, and she ate my last one. So I thought this was quite nice actually for £3.50. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with bath mats because the boys just drench them and then they never hang them out to dry um, and then they take forever to dry and then they're horrible and... Anyway, I got this one. It feels quite light because you just want something to stop you killing yourself when you get out of the shower, don't you? So I think that will go quite nice in my bathroom. I got some of these Maltesers for the boys as well. These are the bigger bags and they're the dark ones, but they were actually only a pound each, which I thought was really good. They should have been 2 65 but I'm guessing people don't really like dark chocolate Maltesers. But take it or leave it. If you don't like it, it's tough, isn't it? got some Kenko Milicano for 5 50 I wanted some bubble bath or like bath soak and I've not tried this Astonish make before because for some reason it well not for some reason but it is a cleaning make isn't it I think is it not the same people as Fabulosa or is it I don't know if it's different people or it just make me feel like I don't know if it's going to be very good as a bath wash but it's smell a bath soak it smells really, really good, and it was only a pound for like 950 ml. So let me know in the comments if you've tried any of the Astonish products, not for cleaning. Hopefully, you know, it's just going to be a bubble bath, isn't it? So it smells amazing. This one is Golden Glow, and it's like peach and like orchids and that. But I thought for a pound, that was pretty good. I got one of these XXL packs of the L'Oreal Paris Elvive Hyaluronic Moisturised Boosting Shampoo. That's whoa that was a bit of a mouthful this was £5.25 and it gets quite good reviews at the moment 700 ml um, and this will last us quite a while we all use the same one I obviously use the most but the other three three four men in the house use the other they use the same so that wasn't too bad that'll last us a little while and it smells good 
I also needed a heat protection spray. I wasn't sure which one to go for. They only had like three. So in the end, I went with this Schwarzkopf one and it's the Keratin Heat Spray. This was £2.89, up to 230 degree heat protection. And it's got style control, frizz control, humidity resistant, all that kind of thing. I thought that was quite a good price for that, £2.89. Two deodorants for some people that need it. I don't know who it is, but £2.50 each. I got some of these Chili Fire Extreme Noodles. I bought some of these the other day. They're really, really good, but they are very, very hot. So if you like spice, they're quite fat noodles as well. They're not like skinny. Um, sometimes these are a little bit skinny, but these ones are really, really fat. And yeah, I love them. So I bought four of those. They were 35p each, four packets of those. Then I got some planters. These weren't reduced. There's three in here. And these are going to go in my bedroom. So this was £10 and you get this little set of three. I'll try and focus on that. So they've got little feet um, right on there, little feet. And I'm just going to sort of style them like that in my room with some plants in. Obviously that was £10 for three. I don't know. Yeah, they're really cute actually, all different sizes. These were technically in the garden aisle. But because my room is this kind of dark goldy theme it's a dark green like a um it's like a dark green we've got lots of blush pinks and gold and it's, it's yeah these will go perfectly so what i thought with this one with the hook is we've actually got a picture rail going all around the top of the room because we've got like a slope ceiling so i thought what i might do is hang this on the picture rail and then have a plant hanging out of it i've got a lovely trailing purple plant this was seven pound and it's actually reduced to four. So something that dangles and I might have it up above my desk or maybe over in the corner of the room. So I thought that was lovely for four pound and it's a really big one. And then I also got this one on the little stilts to go on my desk by my, um, by my laptop because I was just thinking this morning I need some more raised ones. Basically my husband prints me every single pot I want. He all the plant pots I have pretty much are printed, um, but I don't always want the printed ones. I want some like different textures and yeah, he's done some amazing ones. He's, he's done little Highland cows. Um, I think, I don't know if I showed you Groot, but he's done me this one because I absolutely adore Highland cows. That plant, look. I mean, that plant pot doesn't actually fit in that one. I've just shoved it in there for now, but we've got him, but we've also got him in a multicolor. Um, and we've got a tiny version of him. I've got a French Bulldog one with his tongue out, a massive French Bulldog with his tongue hanging out. I'll show you. So I've got Groot, which you can plant in his head. Um, I absolutely love him so much, but he needs a plant. I've got cuttings growing in that. Look at this plant. Sorry if you're not into plants and stuff, but look at how beautiful this plant is. And then this one, this guy has got a spider plant in him. Look at him and He's even got a little, a little hole there where he can drain his excess water, if you know what I mean. But it actually looks like he's having a little wee-wee. So, and he's got a big tongue. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah. So I've got, I, I have a lot. Plants are a big thing of mine at the moment. Um, there's our multicoloured Highland. There's our baby Highland. He's the one I put all my like clippings and stuff in. Like, look how gorgeous is he. Um, I've got cuttings everywhere, by the way. And yeah, what else have we got? We've got a oh, little baby French, little, little baby bulldog over there as well. We have another plant pot down there. That one's just hiding in the shade. We've got another multicolored one with the aloe vera in it. We've got owls. These owls are going outside. <laughs> He's done, um, we've got a beautiful, oh, just broken owl. We've got a bird feeder. Um, he printed a bird feeder and I've got loads of pots in my room and everywhere basically. I will stop in a minute but he's made me this one which I absolutely love, really really different. I love that plant, how beautiful is that? Um, that one's China. And then this one, this bubble pot which is really cool over in the corner. I've got my rubber plant over here as well. Um, and then I've got pink ones upstairs, brown ones. He also made me a moss pole for this monstera plant as well. He's so clever. So yeah, that is everything I bought in B&M and Iceland. Like I said, I have done Aldi as well, but I'm going to put that up next week because it's just too much. And this video is probably already way too long with me rambling on about plant pots and things. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. 
Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.